and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing a smoky eye look. Before I get started with today's makeup look, I wanted to thank everyone that has been requesting me to do different types of videos. So yes, thank you guys so much for requesting me to do these type of videos that you guys want to see. I promise that I will get to making those videos here in the next couple weeks i just don't have all the time that i wish i did to make all these videos for you guys but i will be making those requested videos for you guys okay so for today's look i wanted to do a smoky eye look so for this smoky eye look i'm going to be using my renaissance palette by anastasia so the first color that i'm going to be going in with is this red orkery right here this will be my transitioning color and I'm going to just do a really just black bold eye look. Alright, so now I'm just gonna start on my inner corner crease. Okay, and I'm just taking it just a little bit further than where my eye ends right here, kind of just... Just a little bit, not so far out. Okay, now I'm just wiping off the excess color. And then I'm just going to start just blending that upwards towards my brow just really lightly. Okay, like so. Then we're going to go in with the other eye. Alright, so now that we have that color blended out, I'm going to go with, in with this Morphe M124 brush. It's like a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with a black. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this black right here. It's called Corrupt from Makeup Forever, I think. I'm just gonna pat this black on there. Okay, and then I already have a fallout. Just don't worry about that. We will clean that up later. So with your black, black is just really a really just difficult color to work with, at least for me. Um, so what I do is I'll just put my black like no higher than my crease. I'll just kind of like curve it from my inner corner to the end of, to the outer corner of my eye. And I'll just stop right there. So I'm going to go in with this small fluffy brush from Morphe. I'm just going to blend that black in. I am already struggling with this black because the more you <laughs> the more you blend the higher it just gets which I didn't want it so far up but it's okay we will work with it okay and then once I have blended out my my black I just like to take this like fix plus to really darken my lid just pat it onto the lid I'm gonna go back in to the burnt orange color from my Anastasia modern renaissance palette I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna lightly Blend that out. I'm telling you, black is super, super difficult to work with. Okay, now we're gonna do the other eye. And then we're just going to clean this up. Okay, so now that I did my other eye, 
I'm just going to clean up under my eyes. So I'm just going to take my NARS concealer. This concealer is actually the same tone as my face and it's in medium one custard. So I'm just going to put a little right there and right there. And I'm just going to take this Anastasia flat brush and just clean it up. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my brush that I used to conceal. I'm just going to blend that concealer in. Get rid of any harsh lines. I'm not the biggest fan of doing black eyeshadow looks because I will start super like low how I did on the black and then I'll just look like this. Okay. Alright, so now that that eye is done, I am gonna add my eyelashes and then I'll do my foundation. I will be using my Tati Lashes. You guys already know my fave. I cannot find my Lily Lash Glue, so I'm just going to be using my Sephora. You can't even tell which eye I have my eyelashes on because this look is just so bold. Unless I turn like this. Okay, so I'm doing my foundation now. My foundation. My MAC. Okay. Oh my gosh. Black. I swear, this black gets. Look at this. Oh my god. wash my hands because if I don't I'm gonna get black eyeshadow all over okay so my sponge is a little damp oh my gosh I am missing my freaking earring what the heck? I didn't even realize that I was missing a freaking earring like did you see that okay so like I said my brush my sponge is damp. I just like it damp because it's like, it'll give like an extra moisture in a way. And your face just won't feel so dry. All right, so now that we have our foundation in place, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. As always, I'm going to take my flat brush, just get a little concealer. Just going to take my damp sponge and just pat that in there. looking a little pale but it's okay there's this like freaking fly okay so just really really just pat 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 in there just the uh, on the bridge of my nose Alright, once again in my blunt bronzer, I am going to just add a little bronzer to my face. Alright, now for my blush, I'm going to use my MAC. 
it's almost as if it was the same shade as my bronzer except this one is um kind of has a little shimmer in it it is in hushed tone extra dimension blush actually just gonna take the same brush this fluffy brush that i used for my bronzer okay and then i have my setting powder which is a makeup forever translucent powder and i'm just gonna I'm just gonna apply and just set this makeup on. All right, so while that is just setting on there, I'm going to, I'm gonna add just a little, um, just some eyeliner and a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eyes okay so usually I just like to take a lighter and just light up the end of the the pencil but I don't have lighter I have some matches so I'm just gonna light up a little bit oh. Sorry, YouTube. If okay, and then I just okay, and that was the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner. Okay, I'm just gonna take this Morphe M152 brush, and I'm just going to dip that a little bit into the black eyeshadow and I'm just going to just apply just a little bit and you don't really need a lot because the look is already so bold that you don't need much I'm just gonna take this little brush right here and I'm just gonna blend that black All right, so now that we did a little black eyeliner on the bottom, I'm gonna use my Bad Gal Bang eyeshadow and just add a little bit of mascara. Okay, so our mascara is on and I am just gonna wipe this powder off. Go on with this brush right here. highlighter so for this highlighter I wanted to do something a little different well not different just a different highlighter because usually I always use my MAC highlighter and today I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty the Fenty Beauty gold highlighter so this is just really, really pigmented, so I don't want to use so much of it. So I'm just going to add it there. One more. On the other side. And you know what? I'm actually also going to put a little bit of my other one. So I'm just going to mix them. So I did a little bit of that one. And I'm also going to go in with my mat. Soft and gentle. This is just my super favorite highlighter. My Mac. And then you just wait for it to dry just a little bit because if not, once you apply your highlighter, it will leave like streak lines. So you just want to make sure that your brush is also dry. 
All right, and now to complete my look, I'm going to be doing my lips. I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick in shade Brick. It's like a it's like a burnt reddish burgundy color. Super pretty. All right guys, this is the look for today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What a wonderful